One, two, three, four. Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Thank you for joining us here today. Um, for those of you that have been with the channel for some considerable length of time, we're going to kind of go back a wee bit and hopefully some of you might just remember or recognise this project that we did. So this, my stone wall, is going to be the inspiration for my new setup. So let's see what we come up with because I just think this idea let's go see what we can come up with based on a stone wall concept before we show you uh, what I did what I created what I tried to replicate within the, the, the tank for the spider that was going to live in the tank hopefully some of you recognize that and know the answer uh, what spider was that set up, designed for. So hopefully some of you can remember. We'll go and have a quick look at what I eventually created for the spider. And meanwhile, hopefully you're now shouting at your phones, tablets, computers, the correct answer. But anyway, let's just get on with it. So, for those of you that do remember, and those of you that are now wondering, what is this absolutely beautiful spider? This is the Linothella megatheloides. So that was a very quick feed in of our uh, Megathloides slings there. The word sling is an abbreviation of the word spiderling, which is the name of a baby spider. So if you're in the hobby, one of the terminologies to look out for is sling in reference to a spiderling, which means it's a baby spider. Anyway, we're going to rehouse two of them <clears throat> uh, because I only have two of these pots, uh, which are really quite like. And one, we've just put some bits of bark, we've cut down an old exoterra background uh, just as a wee, a wee back in on there, it was just sheer laziness on my behalf and in the other one we've put a couple of bits of cork bark just so they're a little bit different uh, either way they will use these decorative pieces as anchor points for the webbing uh, I'm only rehousing two at the moment as I say because I only have two of these little pots and I haven't yet found something I want to put the other two in inside of to, to live in just yet. So we have our two enclosures which we've seen but I managed to free up another one so one will go into here we'll see it properly in a minute it uh, just leaves one needing a rehouse I'll find something that I'm happy enough to put into as soon as possible so let's 
get these guys into their new houses. So here's lucky number one. And this shouldn't be too difficult a process. One should certainly hope. It should just quite happily. And then it goes. So these guys, Linotheli, in which I refer to, uh, they're not funnel web spiders. They're actually referred to as, loosely translated as, curtain web spiders. They're from the family Diploridae. They were once classified as Hexthelidae, which were funnel web spiders, but they were moved away from that classification. Funnel webs, as we know, like the Sydney funnel web, can certainly give you quite a nasty bite but these guys uh, don't particularly fall into that category in fact from what i've seen with the previous one i owned uh, these guys would much rather run uh, than try and try and fight uh, so there we go number two into its house nice and easy there it is down the bottom there so yeah, they're, they're more referred to as curtain web spiders as opposed to funnel web. Uh, as I say, they were once classified as Hexthelidae, which was the funnel web family. Uh, this one's climbing up the background, so we'll pop a wee lid on there. Two done. On to the last one. So as I was trying to say, as I, as I was bumbling along, Linothella are not funnel web spiders, despite the fact they were once classified as Hexthelidae, uh, which is a family of funnel web spiders. And they're now classified as Diploridae, which is curtain web spider, so not to be mistaken one for the other. One, uh, the, the funnel web is potentially, can have uh, potentially dangerous bites. These guys, on the other hand, uh, are more tend to run and hide, and that accounts for the likes of Ishnatheli as well. So anyway, uh, we're, we're, we'll move on to number three. Uh, they're very, very beautiful spiders. And as you saw from the photographs I posted earlier in the video of the adults, uh, they take on this absolutely beautiful copperized um, coloration on the carapace. Uh, and just look at those markings. The spinnerets, the two spinnerets there at the back are very long indeed, as you can see. And they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful spiders. And this one is going to go and live in here and hopefully web it all up and it will look absolutely incredible. So we'll just hopefully, it's all gone swimmingly well for us thus far. So if we poke that there, poke you there, in it goes. Jobs are getting. As that four Linotheli Megatheloides in their new houses, hopefully all four of them will grow up to be beautiful adults like the last one I owned. It's been a species I've been kind of keeping my eye out for ever since I had that last one. I just absolutely love the colours they develop, that kind of golden copperized uh, 
carapace colorations they take on and they, of course the fact that they're nice big heavy webbers is uh, yeah they tick all the boxes for me I absolutely love them beautiful species uh, so when I happened upon them in the shop they just had a fresh delivery in uh, they had limited numbers so I grabbed as many as I could afford at the time um, so yeah rehoused and um, there's you could start to see bits of, of silk developing in the enclosures but the camera's not quite picking up yet hopefully when we come back to them uh, they are going to be like just crazy crazy webbed uh, but that is it for me thank you ever so much for watching our uh, megatholoids rehousing uh, awesome awesome spiders if you ever get a chance uh, do indeed consider having a look at getting some especially if you like a nice heavy webbing uh, spider as i said anyway uh all that's left for me to say is a huge, huge thank you ever so much. Uh, if you are subscribed to the channel already, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, and if you're not, please consider subscribing. Uh, every subscriber uh, gives a fairy a new set of wings. And we all love fairies and wings in the world. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel and I'd be hugely appreciative of that. Thank you. Uh, let me know what you think of these wee enclosures. As I say, I'm not too happy on the little white leather jar thing, but I didn't want to leave one excluded from the rehousing when the rest all got new digs and all that jazz. So that's it. I'm going to go. I'm going to say goodbye in a goodbye, and we will see you in the next video. Uh, again, please do pop your comments down below. Have you seen these spiders before? Would you now consider getting these spiders? Are you envious that I now have four of these? <laughs> uh, thank you ever so much, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.